it's fall, it's October, and it's almost Halloween. So pumpkin shopping is on a lot of people's minds. But have you ever thought about what goes on behind the scenes at one of the most sought after pumpkin farms in South Vancouver? Basically designed by my son. My son is the, is the, the mover and shaker behind the farm side because when we bought it, we were just thinking of keeping the riding school going. But then he'd done a degree in agriculture and was passionate about teaching and farming. So he did all this. He built everything that you see. He built all the programs. Um, he invented everything that you see around, the programming, the structures, everything. Um, and the, the farm side is, is growing. Um, we're really passionate about educating. Um, pumpkin patch is big, but I guess our main source of income is our summer camps because we do farm camps and pony camps. We need to do every single thing we can do because we have a huge mortgage. So every suggestion, everything that somebody says, you do it. But as popular as pumpkin shopping is this time of year, it might not be as lucrative as you think. Not only are they one of the most popular farms to get your pumpkins from this time of year, they also host riding camps, pony rides, their farmer's market and educational workshops alongside many other operations. I would say I'm a horticulturalist. Um, I have managed a couple small and kind of large scale farms like um, mostly with volunteers. Uh, so that's sort of like what led me to this place. We don't really grow enough pumpkins to be able to supply the pumpkin patch <laughs> that we have, <laughs> you know, or uh, you know, our farmer's market isn't really like the main draw to the property. It's loads of fun. It's a ton of work. I mean, it's really a ton of work. The farm would also not survive without all the hard-working volunteers. <laughs> 